Hello, we have returned to Evil Land with Moise, and uh, I'm at the entrance of the house, but I have obtained the Buster Sword from the last boss. Now we have three big fights. Oh man. Oh man. By the way, on the overworld, we do have this RPG like, uh, like, cool shit going on. I'm probably sure you use magic with mage. But uh, we also have different HP bars, it seems, because I had uh, much lower health uh, before. But now it seems that I have full health inside this battle. So maybe if I go back in, okay. There's different health bubbles, it seems, which is okay. Okay. This Zumba. Lol. Atuin. Big ass tortoise. But, yeah, I think we'll be good as long as I heal up and keep doing my damage. But that tortoise is a shit ton of damage approach to heal at that point. Vita is getting pretty dangerous though. But, I'm healing now means I'm gonna be able to gain a lot of health back. I mean, he does 15, I heal 18. Or 11. I mean, he does 11. <laughs> I should be good though, you know, being pretty low. Okay, I did kill him. 400 glees and 18 XP. <laughs> we have levels and the XP and stuff. It's kind of different. I like uh, the change of pace that Evil Land brings to the table as its action RPG sort of with the Zelda um, implements. But it's also a turn-based RPG with Final Fantasy or uh, or several other RPGs uh, put into it. I'm not going to say just Final Fantasy because Final Fantasy is only one of the games that use the turn-based battle system. You know, um, I think I'll give credit to it as the first uh, to introduce it, but who knows? could be wrong. I mean, if they, I think Fantasy Star was technically the first, but I think Final Fantasy is the first uh, hugely notable one. <clears throat> if you know what I mean. Like, Fire Emblem wasn't the first to use its battle system and stuff like that, but it was the first well-known one. Because there was a few for Sims before, but they weren't as popular. So, I mean, it's the same sort of thing. I don't think Final Fantasy was the first to use that system, but they're definitely the most famous. But anyway, I like how this game has different paces. That it's not just uh, not just a Zelda roguelike game, and by roguelike I mean you're a rogue character. It's not a rogue like in the aspect that, oh, there's a new dungeon every time. Uh, but, I think you know what I mean. Pure under backgrounds, a new way to display things, and much more details. So, another thing that Final Fantasy introduced is have Final Fantasy 7 pre-rendered backgrounds. Pretty nice. Basically, it's just a flat image that allows you to walk. Because it's not 3D. But it's a, uh, it's a 2D image that allows you to walk through the 2D image. And what they do is they just make uh, a big image and they show part of it. And when you walk up, they show more of it. So it looks like it's 3D, but it's actually uh, 2D. It's quite different. But it's pretty cool. I like it. Most things that showed this were actually watercolored backgrounds. It seems these are uh, pixelated backgrounds. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm pr pretty liking this. I like this a lot. Um, I like this game a lot. I like all the uh, things this game's implementing as an indie PC game. It's having a lot of nice uh, references. Rest Child. Card players ready for a game, expensive merchants, those people who profit from a crisis.
Club Double Twin. Easy. I want to see how to play Double Twin, but I think, yeah, it's the same way as uh, a very popular game called Triple Triad. Um, I know how to play this game really well. Just because it was a pretty popular game inside of Final Fantasy VIII, I believe. T yeah, Touch Master was nine. It's gonna convert that, but it won't matter. Because I'm just gonna take this. Yeah! Movies is the best at Triple Triad. And I win, because I'm the best. Bitch, please. This was an easy mode, though. I'm a COD player. Thanks, Steam. Give me the COD player achievement. You got COD player. You're a COD player. Yeah, like medium. Let's go. I'm going to play this balance card inside the corner. <laughs> So I have a pretty good spot to be able to uh, control the board. What that means basically is I'm going to show my uh, awesome knowledge of card games. Is because this card's in the corner. Okay, never mind. That whole thing went out the window. Because it was in the corner, I had two things. I had one person to take it and another person to take it back. Unfortunately, um, that guy just took my shit. So this guy's making me angry. Cute, 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 cute. Hmm. This guy's got a shitty top. I'd rather do that, be safe, take my mole back, and have something to defend with. Yeah, I'm fucked, I think. No, I'll win. Just barely. Pretty lucky, I'm a god. I ain't no lucky. <clears throat> oh god, this guy's getting better cards. What is this shit? And put this card in the corner again, because one person's gonna take it, and another person's gonna be able to take that card, but that shit's not happening, this guy's got all fucking good cards, and I'm gonna get wiped. I'm gonna get fucking P-wiped here by the server god. The server god is coming to destroy everything I know and love. The thing about playing a well-protected card is you have to realize that it's so well-protected that if they gain control, <laughs> you're gonna get so fucked, so fucked if they get control of that card. And yeah, that's GG. So fucked if they get control of that card that's so protected, because that five 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 isn't really that good, but. <laughs> For me, it's like godsend, man. I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue. Distressed kid. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. What, what are you doing? I'd rather play with firecrackers and run around. Yeah, no. You'd rather run around. Be a good kid. Sorry if I sniffle, I'll try to make it into a laugh as much as possible because I have a cold right now. Yes, I would like some healing. Yes, I would like to save my game. And I think we'll call this a wrap for now. We have adventured this town. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, feel free to thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel and you like the channel, feel free to subscribe. It's greatly appreciated, and I love y'all. Bye!